This is All India Radio. The news read by Valsa Williams. In Tamil Nadu, security has been beefed up in and around Kodankulam as protesters resorted to a sea siege of Kodankulam nuclear power plant today. Our correspondent reports that thousands of fishermen from Tirunelveli, Tutukudi and Kanyakumari districts came in hundreds of fiber boats and country boats and stood in the sea about 500 meters away from the nuclear plant. The protesters demanded immediate withdrawal of police from the local villages, closure of the plant and release of protesters lodged in jails. Police has sealed off the entire nuclear power plant area and Coast Guard ships are patrolling the area. The seas. Barbed wire blockades were made by the security forces to prevent protesters from coming near the power plant. Tirunelveli Superintendent of Police Vijendra Bidari told AIR that the situation is peaceful and under control. The International Conference on Biodiversity has begun in Hyderabad today, with India giving a call for the need to strike the right balance while addressing environmental issues and poverty alleviation. In her presidential address at the plenary session of the 11th meeting of the Conference of Parties COP11 to the Convention on Biodiversity, Union Minister Jayanti Natarajan said that biodiversity issues should be addressed while implementing poverty alleviation programs, especially in developed developing countries. The minister called for concerted efforts among all the stakeholders in implementing the strategic plan for resilience of ecosystems and achieving biodiversity targets. Stating that the expenditure on biodiversity should be viewed as an investment, Ms. Natarajan has underlined the need for chalking out a financial framework to mobilize financial resources and also for mainstreaming biodiversity into economies of countries. Earlier, the union minister was elected as president of the Conference of Parties and took over the chair from the Japanese representative. The empowered group of ministers on spectrum headed by Finance Minister P. Chidambaram is likely to meet today to decide on the issue of one-time spectrum fee. Following the Supreme Court's opinion on the presidential reference, the government is now free to take a decision in this regard. Existing telecom service providers will decide on participating in spectrum auction based on the decision taken by the government on one-time spectrum fee. In Chennai, a Jeddah-bound Air India flight carrying over 400 passengers was cancelled after being hit by a vehicle. Airport sources said the incident occurred this morning when a vehicle carrying passengers' luggage hit the plane on its side. The passengers, most of them Hajj pilgrims, will be flown to their destination in a separate flight today. Venezuelan President Hugo Chavez has won a fourth term in office after defeating opposition leader Andre Capriles. Electoral Council officials announced that Mr. Chavez took 54.42% of the vote, with Mr. Capriles getting 44.97%. And with that, we end this news bulletin.